get the focus, great. There it is. Okay, this is how we text each other. Okay, I'll be there. Sexy. See you guys been on at 6.30 at A Trains. That's my house. Oh, yeah, with an auto spell. It's incorrect. <laughs> He's not here. He's never late. That is true. That's I'm scared. Me too. We should probably call him. A ritual liberty, it's Aaron, Chris, and me. We're the next generation in gaming federation. <laughs> We're now a clan. <laughs> oh, it belongs to WWF. What's Chris, up? long time. I know, it's been a while. How are this you? This is for Nicole's birthday. Card, oh, late card. Chris. This is for Aaron. Ooh, thank you. First person grab. Thank you, sir. What's up, guys? <laughs> <laughs> I say chorizo. I remember I went I went to Subway I went to Subway one time and I remember walking in, I'm like, hey, do you have any cilantro? And the dumb lady started laughing at me because I called it cilantro. That's that's, that's, that's good right there. I know, but then the guy behind me like, is cilantro, gu guap gringo. I was like, what the f I do? So this morning we didn't eat very long because we haven't been to the swap meet in a while and we kinda wanna get there as fast as we can. Hi guys, this hey. is our casual opening. How are you? We're at Golden West t today, Ten. the home of You Don't Push My Mother, the origins. Ricky, what are you gonna find today? Wild guns. Sorry, wild guns. Stop! <laughs> God! Okay, fine, I'll make it more realistic. I'm gonna find Madden 96 for the Genesis. Now he's aiming too low. Okay. You gotta aim right in the middle, like, Mega Man 2 for a pretty good price. Oh, that's, that'd be pretty cool. See, why am I cutting my pants? You guys always make fun of me for doing it, and I'm doing it right in front of you. Let's go anyway. Hi, Swap Me! Oh, are you sure you want to... Are you sure you want to go through this again, Ricky? Go for it. What if it's four swords again? It's a reseller. <gasps> oh, it's dark, dude. For a second, I was like, dude, holy crap, there's a game in here. Do you remember that in the last episode, guys? When I opened it and got four swords for three dollars. Ricky, how was that moment, by the way? How did you feel? When that actually happened. I didn't want to talk about it. Is there going to be a game? What could be in here? Uh... Hey. What is it? I don't know. How much is this? Just like a big disc. I shouldn't have given, I shouldn't have taken the camera. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Have a good day. Good, good call on that one, Ricky. There so, what you, you guys are wondering, I just got all the four swords for free. Oh, I'm so <laughs> and I hate you guys. Because I have the case for it, Why? booklet and all. And then we switched. He, he made me switch cameraman right there. You want another funny, you know who you should be blaming then? Oh my gosh, there's Mike Burt right behind us. Hey, hey Mike! Mike. Yes! Don't put me in the video. What? Why? Is he wearing he a said he's not beautiful like us. You seriously look like Brett Favre. Really? Yeah. Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! What's up, Mike? Stop. Crazy. Sorry. So we just ran into our friend Michael Burt, and he just got a bunch of good games for a dollar each. Now he's gonna keep a lot for his own personal collection, but the ones he doesn't want, he's gonna sell them to us for the same price he got them for. So Burt found these, he's keeping them, okay? But he got like games like Power Stone, Strider 2, all that stuff. Guess how much he paid for these? One dollar. We just missed it. See, this is what you get, this is what the games used to call get caught slipping. You keep trying to get me to say all these dumb things. A minute late? Look, he was only, what, one aisle in front of us? And look what happened. See? I blame Ricky. I didn't want to go eat. I wanted to hurry. Hey, I what... wanted to come here right just away. Just kidding. When your friend gets a good deal on games, do you expect him to give you the same good price? Or do you give him extra because you feel bad? Build your Dreamcast collection with a buck a piece, dude. Look at it. Mike buying him for a buck, selling him for a buck. That's a nice gesture. That is very nice. You need to take him up on it and buy everything he just bought for double his price. Triple? Yep. 
Look at normally thirty. See, so you, you get twenty nine dollars off. <laughs> I do love me some green casts. See, get your game cast on, dog. Wait up! Look, doesn't this work? Here, just give me a ten back. <laughs> Thank you, sir. That works. Thank Look at you. that. I didn't, have to, I didn't have to do anything. I just walked in and Mike helped, helped us out. That's how every week should be. Well, the episode's over. See you guys later. Have a good day. April Fool's. So after Ricky just got done buying a bunch of games off Burt for a cheap price, we go to another place full of CDs and Ricky gets a bunch more Dreamcast games for a dollar each again. This morning is already turning out freaking fantastic. It's Dreamcast day because I just got some off Burt. And now I got these. Look at this. Tomb Raider. That's a good one. Soul Calibur. That was fun. Wet Tricks. That's a puzzle game. The Disney World Quest Magical Racing Tour. This is the one I'm tour. most excited to see. That's what I said. Ooh. It's like freaking racing. Like Diddy Kong Racing. There's Ooh. Crazy Taxi too. I need another too. Crazy Taxi. This is... This is wonderful. This is great. I so, love coming with Mike. Mike's helping me out. <laughs> and a little boys to men. Hey! Don't dog on boys to men. I'm not dogging on them. That's I'm what serious. Did you I like say boys to men? Boys to men. Did you know that boys to men was actually a band called boys back in the day? And I'm serious. They were called what? They were, a band, they were a band called boys. We used to have the tape. Nathan did, my brother. <laughs> and it's <laughs> awesome. And then they grew up and they became boys to men. So what happens to Ricky and I next is darn near unbelievable. Now, if you guys watch our show, you know we barely come across TurboGrafx-16 stuff. We happen to run across them at a place that's selling CDs for an insanely cheap price. We barely could hold ourselves together here. So I just got down three. CDs? Yeah. It's okay. How much are the CDs? Oh. How much? $2 each or three for five? Well, that's a good seat. That one right here. Dude, I'm gonna look through all this. Oh, I just got excited. Okay. Sweet. I think that was So after Ricky finds those, I start digging. Now I know Ricky's a big Turbo Graphics collector now, so I just start handing them over to him. And yes, there was more. Yeah? I'm just handing my stuff to Ricky at this point. That's why I love him. In a, you know, friendly way. Wait. Just a friend way. <laughs> a friendly friend way. <laughs> the Turbo Graphic CD. This doesn't ever happen, but it's happening today. This is like our eighth one. This day is amazing. It doesn't even make sense. sense. <laughs> So we barely made it out of there without sounding like a bunch of idiots. We were giggling the whole time, we were whispering to each other about what we were finding, and this just doesn't happen for us. Like I said earlier, if you guys watch our show, we've maybe come across two or three since we've been doing this, and we go to the swap meets a lot, so this was amazing. We're pretty darn thankful. Right, so first, before we show this, we would like to say sorry to NES Complex. <laughs> Normally, he comes, big turbo guy. Turbo! He is in Italy though, that's... So for $10 complete, I found some, Ricky found some, but I let Ricky have them all because he's turbo collecting. These, Malice 3, Dungeon Explorer. This one I don't know anything about, Cosmic Fantasy 2, Time Ball, and Final Zone 2, all for 10 bucks. These are all turbo graphics games, some are turbo graphics CD. Um, Definitely worth a lot more than ten dollars. Let's just say that. <laughs> so, needless to say, the day is going amazing. I am perfectly happy with going home at this moment, but we just keep looking just for the heck of it. Next, Ricky runs across something that's pretty cool. I have a couple boxes for something, and Ricky doesn't. And no, I never gave it to him because he never gave me his freaking Demon's Crest. So, with that said, I waited to give it to him. But hey, look, he finds it here. Oh. I like the Game Boy stuff. Uh, for all of it? Or like, a, or, in, oh yeah, all of it. 40 for the, just the game, 10 each on the separate game. How much for this one? Sorry. 40. 40. Look at this Game Boy compact it's, carrying it's, case. It's just a rechargeable pack. You can take it out. No, it's a case though. Oh, okay. Yeah? I never see the carrying case. Not that I need it, because I wear um, a fanny pack. 
that's the cool way to carry stuff nowadays. So, but it's cool. This is clean. I want it. Look at it. She said you could take it out. Let's see. Ooh, styrofoam. styrofoam. Always a good styrofoam. Styrofoam. Oh, oh yeah, it's clean. Two hours later. Look at this. All old Nintendo Power stuff. Yeah, it's clean. Mm -hmm. Uh. Game Boy's okay. I'm not gonna say anything stupid, Aaron. So now that Ricky finally has his hands on a Game Boy box, and not to mention a near perfect Game Boy box, will he get it? $40 is a little pricey for that, but maybe she'll go down if Ricky can sweet talk her. Ricky, how you gonna do? Would you do 30 for it, by chance? You did a, a nice car rate to that. Well, we've got a lot of stuff today so far, and we're carrying around a whole bunch of stuff, but before we go, we see a guy we haven't seen in a long time. It's a reseller who is amazingly cheap, and he's also a fan of YouTube gaming stuff, so that's awesome. Cheers to him. That's what I like to hear. Ooh, box games. Look at this. So for any of you guys who are like real fans, if you want to call it fans and watch, do you remember this guy? Who could forget me? <laughs> yeah, there he was the, the cool reseller that would knew about, about ABGN and all that. So, Ooh, how much are the boxes? Are I'm sure it depends, but uh, you can do a five on all of them. Like one or two might be missing manual. Okay, <laughs> sweet. Yeah, I'll definitely pick up a couple. Tiger uppercut. I just love these cases. How about for loose? Yeah, I'll do a buck. Buck. Sweet. How much for wampum? Well, I'll do fifty cents on that one. You're buying. Hey, there you go. Hey, look at that. So like I said, we remember this guy being really cheap and giving us really good deals, but this time when we came back, he was even cheaper than I remembered. So I decided to hand him a bundle of games that I wanted to see what he would do, and he basically threw that price out of the window and just gave me a random really cheap price. Yes. Ten. Sweet! See, why aren't more people like you? You don't know. The trick is, the trick is, you have the the good stuff goes on eBay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. the the chaff, the chaff comes here, you know. Yeah. It's just a return, like, right? Yeah. <laughs> hey, well, the, the chaff's good too, but I mean, it's like you can't you can't be in love with it if you're bringing it to a swap meet. There you yeah, go. So. See. True. Um, that's not something you hear a lot either. Someone asked. Pretty cool. Uh, Actually, you know what? We got one all down there. You just go ahead and take it. Just grab this. The white box. Yeah, that one. This one. Yeah. The whole box. Nice. Yeah. Are you Are you serious? Why not? You didn't have one yet. Now you do. Why aren't more people like him? Seriously. You know, cloning. Yeah, I used to talk bucks. bad on it, but maybe cloning wouldn't be such a bad idea. Dude, you know what you look like too? Have you ever seen um, King of Kong? Um. Uh, 70s? It's a doc, it's a documentary on the the um, the championship player. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You remind me of Steve Weeby, the guy who's second place for all time best Donkey Kong player. Look at him with his box tubin and his free PlayStation One. He's he, he's rolling in style right now. We weren't talking bad, don't worry. I said you were rolling in style with your PS1, your free PS1. Well, even though we got a whole buttload of stuff, we're addicted to video games, so on the way home, we decided to do something we've seen a couple people on YouTube do before. Yeah, I don't know if it's legal or not. We probably shouldn't show it, but whatever. We're going to look in dumpsters behind GameStops for decorations and standees and stuff like that, because, you know, we totally need more stuff in our overcrowded game rooms. Here we go. All right, so we are headed to the back of a GameStop um, to go or OK Chief for 420 style and um, see if we can find anything in the dumpster. But the honest truth is, we don't even know which dumpster it is because we've never done this before. Look, there's dumpsters here, and there I don't know if there's dumpsters over there. I don't know. So we're gonna just at least oh there it is. That's gotta be it. Where? Right by right by. Oh, the oh great! It's like right in the obvious. Well, we'll give it a try, and uh, we're looking for some displays. Um, did I say displays? Yeah, but it sounds cool. Disc plays. We're looking for some disc plays stuff. So, here we go. Sneak. Ooh, I'll park my car here so it's sneaky. They emptied it out. It's already empty and I don't want it to do this because I already got goop on my body. That was what, it? What? <laughs> That's what dumpster diving is? It's locked. Come look at this. Here we go, guys. We're 
What can we find? Hey, check the one that has like grease on it. I'm not opening. It says grease only. Why would I open that? <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, um, okay, on to the one on a different one. And if we don't find anything there, this will be our last time doing it. That was fun. I love trash. So after that big failure, we decided to go to another GameStop and guess what our luck was? Locked dumpsters. Great, we can't even get in this time. Well, that was worth it. Eh. Ah. <laughs> I don't know. We've only been here for five minutes and look at Ricky. I have an addiction. It's again in the open. When OK Chief does it, it's like hidden, like in the back of the store. Really? Ours are like in the front of the place. Security's gonna like roll up on us. Be like, yo, I already have an alibi. Let's see. Dude, we're just working at GameStop. <laughs> yeah, dude, I work at GameStop, man. Sure! Ha <laughs> ha